Hey, this is Mark with Red Arrow Industries. Today, I'm going to show you how to create a text that animates behind a moving object in your video clip. The end result will look a lot like this, Especially or this. That went really, really well together. So I created this lower third and I want it to come up behind the woman's shoulder in my video clip. The first thing I'll need to do is animate the title's position parameters in the effect editor. I'll add a simple 8 frame vertical move. Now the text moves up from out of frame, but in order to have the text come from behind her moving shoulder, I'll need to create a mask. So I'll copy and duplicate my video layer from V1 and paste it onto V3, over my title effect that's on V2. Now grab the animat effect from the key tab in the effect palette and apply it to the duplicated video track on V3. Inside the effect editor, I'll use the poly tool to create a simple outline around the woman's shoulder. The less anchor points, the easier this process will be, I promise. Once I close off the shape, I can use the reshape tool to define the edges of her shoulder. I'll do this for each of the 8 frames that the text animates on. Use the handles on your anchor points, also known as bezier handles, to add curves. Hold down Alt if you want to adjust one handle at a time. Once you finish, soften the edges between the text and the subject by adjusting the feathering parameter in the effect editor. Hold down Shift to select all of the keyframes. I'm going to set my bias at 30, and my horizontal and vertical parameters will go to 3. After you adjust the feathering to your liking, make sure to step through every keyframe to check your work. Then just render it out. Here's what we have. Striped Light wasn't this like epiphany, it was a gradual idea based on what we love to do. There you have it. We've elevated simple titles using some of the most basic elements in Avid Media Composer. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, comment below. And if this tutorial helped you out, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Then check us out on our Facebook page, Red Arrow Industries, or at our website, redarrowindustries.com.